In this video we're going to talk a little bit about basic navigation in Commander. The first thing I'm going to point out for navigation is that Commander uses a couple of different methods for navigation. One of them is these navigation bars or panels that you see on the side here. I have a favorites bar set up. There's a reminders drop down here for setting various reminders. A tools navigation bar to set up your home page to access your program that will launch automatically when you launch Commander. Uh, some tasks here which are typically referred to as either the sales invoicing or repair order. These can also be added to your favorites bar. There's a maintain tab and an orders tab. So those would be your navigation bars on the side of the program. Commander is also going to open tabs along the top. So if for example I click on the items section of Commander here, you're going to notice we have an items tab here at the top. And as we go into various sections of the program, let's say I click on Customers, I'll now have a Customers tab and I can toggle back and forth between items and customers. And this allows us very easily to access the portions of the program that we use on a daily basis simply by moving back and forth between these various tabs. Commander also has a number of drop-down menus for accessing various portions of the program like taking a physical inventory, your chart of accounts, your sales tax setup, and some preferences which are dealt with in a future video. Form image settings is used here to load your logo if you choose to load a logo into the program and that will also be covered in a different section of the program. The program can actually be customized in a number of ways. This favorites bar that you see on the side here can be populated with the icons that each user uses on a daily basis. So for example, if I click on repair order and I have my repair order section selected, I can go to my favorites bar and I can either add or remove that repair order icon as I go back and forth. It works as a toggle. So I can actually choose the sections of the program that I want and populate my favorites bar to make navigation more simple for that user. You're also going to notice that in each section of the program, as we navigate to different sections of the program, you're able to right click, this is a right mouse click, and go to customize your current view. And in here you can add and remove various fields that you want seen on the screen or displayed in your grid. For example, if I don't want to see a bin location, I can remove that. Or if I want to add that back in, I click bin location, add that back in, and then position it. Let's say here I'm positioning it between the on-hand quantity and the on-order quantity, so my bin location is positioned there. I click OK, and that will determine where the bin location actually is positioned in my grid on the screen. It's important to remember that as you add additional users to the system through the security section, which will be covered in a future video, all of these changes that we make to the screen designs, the favorites bar, or customizing the various screens, uh, you're just really customizing the view for that one particular user. So it makes the program very, very flexible because you can actually customize the screens for each user that uses the program.